You know, sometimes you have to question why certain doctors choose to perform abortions or feel comfortable performing abortions. Sometimes you have to really wonder what makes them do that. What makes an individual, a doctor, perform murder surgery on a woman that chooses not to protect herself and then she chooses to abort or murder an unborn child that does not have the choice that many women or females are protesting and fighting for. They're fighting for choices, the right to murder their unborn child without any legal repercussions. But yet the child have no rights. The child have no voice. The child have no choice. The photo that you're looking at are some yearbook photos that surfaced of the Virginia Democratic Governor Ralph Northam. Ralph Northam's yearbook photo. And I've been saying for the longest that the demon craps are all or the majority racist. No so-called black American should be a demon crap. I don't care what your fourth parents supported or believed in. I don't care if your mama was a Democrat so you feel you need to be a Democrat or your great grandparents was a Democrat so you feel you need to be a Democrat. The demon craps were the ones that created or formed the KKK. And much of what we see now that's happening regarding President Trump is the same tactics that we use to destroy blacks here in America. They were the ones that lynched blacks. They were the ones that performed horrific crimes and acts and racism against so-called black Americans. But now, today, we find that so many black Americans are loyal to the so-called demon craps. And we forget, regardless of how much information of history that we study, we forget, or better yet, modern day so-called blacks have never experienced what our ancestors here in America experienced. So they really don't know racism. They will cry racism. And they will always be ready to pull the race card without even really knowing or understanding racism and who their enemy really is but in spite of the information or the historical uh, information that blacks would read about slavery and about the Jim Crow and in spite of what you read I believe that most black Americans don't understand what they've actually read that was recorded in history because if they really understood it, they would not be supporting a political party that created the condition that you're in today. So this right here is a political move. This image have always been in the cut. But because of political reasons, it's now surfaced. Mainly because of his support 
in late term abortions and comments that he made. And soon after these comments were made that, uh, that were made and caused such a great uproar in Virginia, this photo now surfaced. So when it comes to the demon craps and even Republicans, they know who their opposing parties really are. They know these people personally. So they know the racist people. So when we see laws being passed that support late-term abortions, even post-birth abortions, if I said that correctly, or post-abortions, there's a reason behind that. See, the devil does nothing without a reason. He's very crafty. And in these times, we're watching the devil work on the minds of the so-called American citizens, black and white. Even the so-called immigrants, they are also considered to be pawns like the rest of us. But they would make one group feel superior to the other. That creates friction and confusion and division. So what the devil did was he made it seem like he was helping women. And so you can't always trust the motive and intent of even a lot of white females because they will come with the Me Too movement, they will come with the feminist movement, they will come with all of these protests for women's rights again creating division but when you shovel through all of the mess you will come to learn that the real target is black American women because black American women and even black American men have a tendency of following what the white man does. They have a tendency of following what the slave master's children do. They feel that the slave master children knows better than they do. So the slave master's children create laws and support not only abortions, and they sat back and watched the support of abortions among the black community. Margaret Sanger, which Hillary Clinton supported, and which black Americans supported, they supported Hillary, talked about blacks as being like weed, and they are exterminating the weed, which are the so-called black Americans. And Hillary Clinton supported that, and blacks supported Hillary Clinton although she gave red flags of being a racist when she went on the breakfast club and showed off her bottle of hot sauce that she had in her purse. So they're always showing you who they are. But because of the manipulation, the witchcraft, and the brainwashing of the media, and of your political party, they brainwashed you not to be able to see what they show you in clear sight. So when it comes to this late term abortion, and I don't know how much I can stress this, when it comes to late term abortions, 
it's not really for women as a whole. But the main target, the main agenda is black women. Because black women are the ones that lead in abortions. And I mentioned in the past of how they made billboards saying the most dangerous place for a black child is in the womb of his black mother. And I don't care how people would try to argue and debate and say, well, white women do it too. That's the reason why the Me Too movement, feminism, and now late-term abortion is coming with the face of a white woman because black females and even black males will follow because they do it too. So the real target of late term abortions is to destroy the children, the offspring of the black family. They've already destroyed the black family a long time ago. But black men, women and black men are still having sex. They're still creating children. They tried everything, birth control, uh, even the water that you drink, because a lot of the, the so-called water that comes through the tap water, it's got birth control pills in them where they dump, where you have pharmaceutical companies dump these, this medication of birth control into the water source. Just take a look at Michigan and the water problem they have there. That's a test site. That's them actually testing the results of what happens if they contaminate your water. Just look at Michigan. So they're just not working on one project or two projects or three projects when it comes to destroying black people. Look at the Tuskegee experiment. Look at a host of other experiments that they've done in secret that have not even been manifested to destroy black people. Why is it that we can have a so-called black president and the only people that were quote-unquote helped were the gays and transgenders, the women, and the illegal immigrants. But they legalize everything that is bad for you, things that you think you want, things you think you need, they give it to you now to pacify you, to rock you to sleep, so that they can continue destroying you. They even come up with what the average American will look like in the year 2030 or something to that effect. I'm not sure of the exact date, but the average American is supposed to be biracial. So they're always looking for ways to wipe you out. And this is not just a conspiracy theory. This is the truth. And while I'm talking about this, I'm letting you look at this image of a yearbook photo. See, it's easy for them to manipulate your mind, make you think that Donald Trump is the racist. And see, that's why they're attacking him like they are, because he's the enemy. So I've never seen in my 58 years of being on this planet, any president of the United States is disrespected to the point where they even allowing other nation leaders to badmouth, to disrespect their own president. Creating environments where this country can be attacked to make President Trump look bad. But yet you're being destroyed because they have a personal agenda that's being destroyed. So again, when it comes to the late term abortion, their main target is black women because black women, more black women will take advantage of these late term abortions. 
You have low income females will take advantage of these late term abortions. And they will use because of your emotions, because of your, your mental health. Well, what about the mental health of the man? Men don't have a choice to walk away. If a man fails to protect himself and he impregnates a woman and he tells this woman, I'm not ready to be a father. He's now called a deadbeat. He's told to, to man up and if you and, and, and you are man enough to lay down and create this child, be man enough to take care of this child. And then if he walks away, he's placed on child support, he's thrown in jail, his wages are garnished, and he is now destroyed, his reputation is destroyed and looked at as a deadbeat. But yet, if a female decides to now say, I'm not ready, well, she's got a right now to choose. She can't walk away from being a mother or taking care of the responsibility that she helped create. She had that option, even when it comes to a late-term abortion. So they're playing the minds of women, the emotions of women, to destroy a certain group of people because they know because of the results they've received from history time, the certain results they receive from history past, they already know who's gonna take advantage of this the most. And it's gonna be black females are going to take advantage of late term abortions because they are the ones that outnumber any other race when it comes to aborting their children. So they're willing to pass this law. New York State did it, and now we're starting to see other states trying to do it. But it was shot down in Virginia, so now they're trying to do post-abortions in Virginia. So black people need to wake up. This is your demon crap party right here. And they come with the face of a smile making you feel that they're fighting for you. And it's their job to make you think that the opposing party is your enemy. When in reality, the opposing party is the one that's trying to help you. Trying to help you to help yourself. So this right here is the demon crap party is manifesting itself. Black people need to wake up. This is who you support. This is who you voted for. And I'm sure that there are a lot of black people that voted for this dude because he's demon crap or because he was fed by the media that Trump was bad or, you know, other Republicans were bad. The Republicans are supposed to be the racists. But this is what springs up regarding the Democrat governor. And the same thing is happening right here in New York State. And the ones that's gonna take advantage of this the most is black women. And it's unfortunate, but that's just the way it is. It's tight, but it's right. So feedback, tell me what you think. Until next time. I'm fearless.